What's going on out there in YouTube land? Man, I'm land trucking. I said got a little scar right here. Been playing basketball and uh, they want to beat the little country boy up. But uh, yeah, basically I'm checking in, giving y'all a brief update. What's going on with me? Um, we're gonna do a tour of the room. Had people asking about the campus and rooms. And uh, also today, hopefully, I should be doing a pre-trip on the truck. It's gonna be like a four or five part series. Um, it's only gonna be the outside of the truck. I won't be able to do an in-cab inspection. The reason being, the truck that they have out here for us to use to um, practice our pre-trip, the uh, cab of the, the truck is locked. So I won't be able to do an in-cab inspection where you do your air brake test and all the other stuff. But um, also today I should leave out with my TNT trainer, hopefully. I'm not sure if we're leaving out today or tomorrow or how that's going to work. But uh, anyway, if I leave out today with him, in the next couple of days, I should be able to um, do an in-cab inspection, make a video of that, post it up for you guys. But um, yeah, so be on the lookout. I will be doing a pre-trip of the truck. So the ones of you that are planning on coming to Prime, go watch the video, you can go ahead and get your pre-trip now. Also, I gave y'all the apps and stuff for the um, CDL permit test. So y'all should be good and good and ready whenever you get down here. We should have all people that pass, all trifectas and all that stuff. But anyway, um, I got also got a little bit of free time today. Um, like I said, I don't know what time my train to get here. I may try to go out to the pad and see if I can get the alley dog and the uh, offsets and the straight line back. And I don't know how that's going to work because um, they're calling for rain today. So if I can do it, I will. If not, I'm sorry, guys. But uh, yeah. So basically, what's going on with me? As I just told y'all guys, I've been out here waiting for my uh, oh my back. Been out here waiting for my trainer to show up. Um, I've been out here ever since I tried fed it out. Um, I had an option of going home. I chose not to. The reason being was the guy only took like four days of home time. Um, if I would have rode the bus back, it would have took me like 32 hours to get back home. You don't really get that much good sleep on the uh, bus, so I probably would have went home and went to sleep. So you might always say that, you know, if I got a full eight hours, that's 40 hours. You might always say, you know, almost two days or whatever. So uh, then I would have had a free day to do whatever I wanted to do. Then I've been right back on the truck or the bus coming back up here. So yeah, I decided not to really do it. Um, also too, as long as you're up here and available for dispatch, you can get paid. Um, I got some paperwork over here that I'm actually uh, doing some stuff for the business. As you see, I got all my little stuff packed up. And of course, I've been sitting in. The only thing I've really been doing is sitting here reading. Y'all know what I've been reading. But uh, reading and uh, watching TV, working out, trying to get fat. Or trying to stop from getting fat. But um, yeah, I've been eating a lot too, so <laughs> I definitely need to be working out. Um. So yeah, that's basically what's been going on with me. Uh, so like I said, since I've been up here, I will get paid $700 because I didn't go back home. Also too, I was deciding, I was thinking in my head, like everything that I need to do with the business, I can handle up here. So there's no leave, need for me to go home. Most of my friends and family work. So one thing I would have been doing is sitting around the house, watching TV, reading, and working out. I can do all that here. Um, as you, Like I told you before, got beat up playing basketball. I actually made a video about that uh, at the basketball court. Went nothing to his site and I had uh, David call me out, say he wanted to play the country boy in basketball. But um, I was gonna post the video up, but I don't want to give him no advantage. I seen some of my moves and nothing of like that. So yeah, David, whenever you get down here, hit me up. We definitely will get that one-on-one -on -one going. But uh, yeah. All right, so let's go with the um, video. A lot of people been asking about how do the campus rooms look. I had a couple people inbox me about it. Uh, I guess with me calling it the hood, I kind of scared a couple people. The rooms aren't that bad. It's just the fact that if you stay in the Ramada and then come over here, it's a whole different ball game. The rooms really aren't that bad. But uh, so I'm gonna give y'all two of the room, let y'all see what they look like. Then after that, I'm probably gonna go ahead and out here and shoot this uh, video for the pre-trip inspection. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to the door when you very first come in. And also too guys, this is like, a, a, basically like a tutorial or a kind of blueprint of what the rooms look like. All the rooms don't look like this. Some do, some don't. 
some are better, some are worse. Uh, like, to get started, the very first room I had, if you see this room, got carpet in it. The very first room I had didn't have carpet. Um, also, too, it had this type of flooring in it. Like the flooring in the bathroom. But uh, that's what the, the whole room was like that. Um, also, too, the very first room I had didn't have this in, uh, shelf here. I had all my stuff and stuff up here earlier. I got it on the bed now. The reason being, I'm packing up, trying to get ready so whenever the guy get here, I'll be waiting on him. He won't be waiting on me because, of course, I'm on his time. So anyway, let's go. Do when you very come in. So very first come in. So this is what you're going to see, what you won't see all that junk and stuff on the bed because I'm in here uh, packing up. But this is what the room look like when you very first come in. That's the bathroom over there to the left. So we're going to go to the left. Look at the bathroom. Like I said, guys, I'm still cleaning up, so. But yeah, so this is the bathroom. Of course, a toilet in here. Y'all don't really want to see that. Y'all see my shower gloves up in the corner. And this is what the shower look like. But uh, yeah. So, that's the bathroom, guys. Towels and all that good stuff. All right. So then, I'm back at the front door. If you look, if you come straight out the bathroom, or whatever, this is the area I was saying I got all my stuff at now. I've been putting my shelves and stuff up here and little shirts and stuff I need to hang up, of course, right there. Actually, this is a sleeping bag and a pillow, which you can't see because it's so dark in here, that my um, trainer bought me for Trifet and not. Um, one of y'all know that been keeping up with me. I've been using this little travel size pillow and I've been using uh, blankets. So, Randy, appreciate you buying me the sleeping bag and the uh, pillow. Um, I still probably be using the sheets, but I don't think I'm using that travel size pillow no more. I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of it or what. But uh, yeah. All right, so it's the room again, guys. It's the beds. Like I said, it's just a blueprint of what the room's gonna look like. This light right here, I've been in another room that looked way better than this. It even had different sheets and everything. He actually had a headboard and stuff like that, and the lights was in different spots. Most rooms I've been in have a, if I can get it, have a uh, nightstand, the clock, and the telephone over there in the corner or whatever. Um, like I said, my trash and some, well, my clothes and stuff over here. This actually is the air conditioning unit here, uh, central air, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go ahead and let you know, guys, when you get up here, you can't set it to a certain temperature. Either you're going to freeze or burn up. They're the only two options you got. Um, of course, it's still kind of warm up here, so I haven't been turning the heat on, so I don't know how they got the heat side. But um, you can't adjust the temperature. It's either on or off. That's it. Um, yeah, the other day it wasn't working too good, and I was trying to figure out what was going on when it actually went outside. There was a whole bunch of people out Well, not a whole bunch, but there was a few people outside, and they was having the same issue, so it wasn't my, just my room. But yeah, either it's on or off. I got it off right now because it's kind of cool in here. But yeah, all right. Then every room I done been in so far have the two chairs and a table. Um, most of the people at camp is in. This is where you're gonna see all the bobtails and stuff. You're gonna see a lot of bobtails and stuff all out here. If you actually see that trailer right there with prime meat right on the back of it, that's the truck that you actually do they give you the practice to do your pre-trip and stuff on. And as I can see, it's people already outside. That's why I kind of call it the hood too, because it's always people outside. You can go out there two, three o'clock in the morning. I think y'all can see them. Yeah, you can go out there like two, three o'clock in the morning. It's probably somebody out there. Um, There's also the, the little area right there by where the people sitting out on that bench. I think y'all can see them. But yeah, they uh, that's the smoking area. And that's what I was telling y'all about here in the fishing stores. They usually be over there. Um, especially if you go over there and you see somebody flip their badge around, or either they got their badge where you can't tell whether they actually in PSD program or the TNT or whatever, them the ones gonna tell the most story because usually they don't want you to know they still a PSD student. All right, this is the refrigerator. I know everybody know what the refrigerator look like, but I'm just gonna open it up to show y'all the size. So you got all these. Both rooms I've been in had, had all this too. You got your little door or whatever where you can put your stuff in here. I'm actually trying to eat everything now so I don't really have too much stuff left. As you can see, 
I'm a big kid. I got these animals in here. I got a little soda, which I don't need to be drinking. And I got, I had some hot pockets and stuff up here earlier. But I got a little panini sandwich I'm probably about to eat later on today. All right. Next, of course, you got your TV, which mine usually be like this in the off position because I be reading and stuff. Um, guys, if you can, whenever you go to the stores and stuff, keep you some plastic bags, and I'm gonna tell you the reason why in a second. These are my little resistor bands I've been working on. Um, coffee maker. Most of the rooms I've been in have a coffee maker. I don't drink coffee. My roommate did, but he's gone now. But they do have a coffee maker and coffee and sugar and all that good stuff. Y'all see my little snacks, my uh, vitamins and my B12. A little ice. Uh, Cheers thing or whatever you want to call it. Now, this is what I was talking about, which you, you want to keep your bags for. This is the trash can. If it's two of y'all in here, that thing fill up pretty quick. So if you keep them bags over there or whatever, you can um, use it for a trash bag. If it's two of y'all in here, y'all definitely gonna fill this little thing up fast. A couple of cups and maybe if you get your tray from the uh, calf and bring it back over here, that thing full. So yeah, you definitely probably want to keep your uh, some trash bags, well, or some grocery bags to put trash in. Oh, and I ain't even say nothing about this. And yeah, the rooms, every room I done been in so far have an ironing board and an iron. So basically, guys, that's the tour of Campus in Campus room. Um, I'm about to go ahead and get ready to go out there and shoot the pre-trip video for y'all guys. Um, y'all know the motto, the slogan, man in the land trucking, all gas, no brakes. No days off. And um, I don't know a few of y'all names. Y'all still don't know my name. That's that y'all keep me y'all prayers and y'all thoughts, and I definitely do the same thing for y'all. And uh, before I sign out, I just ask y'all to like and subscribe. Uh, leave comments, let me know what y'all want to see. And, oh, I forgot about this. Football season. I'm a Pittsburgh fan. I don't keep up with it as much as I used to because I got so much stuff going on. But uh, I do got the app to my phone. So any of y'all that want to have like a little friendly rivalry, and notice I said friendly, but if y'all want to have a friendly rivalry, you know, talk a little bit of trash back and forth, let me know who you pull for, and I definitely try to keep up with your team and my team, and, you know, maybe we can talk trash back and forth a little bit friendly. And uh, especially Cowboy fans, please let me know. I love talking trash to y'all. Y'all are diehard fans. So if you're a Cowboy fan, please let me know, because y'all are diehard fans. I love talking junk to y'all. I know I'm not going to win the argument because y'all win every argument y'all get in. But uh, I definitely like to, uh, you know, get a part of that. So anyway, like and subscribe, leave comments or whatever. Man and Lad Trucking is out.